Hey, what's up? This is gaming update number one. Anyway, I'm going to start out. I have like, I think I have, wait a sec, let me count. One, two, three, four. I have seven games here to tell you about. Uh, I got one of them you might know about. Actually, two of them you heard me talk about, but maybe if you didn't see those videos, you'll probably not see this one. Anyway, let me start out with a game you'll probably make fun of me for. Uh, Cooking Mama 2. reason I got this. Uh three bucks at a yard sale and I said screw it. There was another game but I only had three bucks. Actually I had four bucks but they wouldn't they wouldn't let me bargain with them. So there was another game, I think it was called a uh, fucking Nano Stray or something like that. I don't know fuck. And uh it was a top down shooter and I heard I heard uh D S ain't the greatest for that. So I got this. I heard this was pretty fun and it is. So uh I'm not gonna do a review of it. Why? Because it's hard to review, it's just mini games and shit. Whatever. Alright, here's a 360 game I got a few weeks ago, I just didn't tell you. Uh, Prey. It's a pretty good game, seeing that I just got my 360 back, I might play for a little while. Not sure. Uh, yeah. Pretty good game. Uh, not great though. Anyway, here we go with PSP. Dungeon Siege, Throne of Agony. Obviously, you can see I got it for 10 bucks. Really good game, I had so much fun with it. It's, it's still great. It's kind of short though, kind of a little bit, not very, I didn't beat it yet, but it looks like it could be really short compared to all the other Dungeon Siege games, but it's PSP version, and it's not like a point and click one, so really good game, go check it out. Anyway, now I got Mortal Kombat Unchained, I got at a store called Trading, uh, Trading, play, play and Trade, called, it, it's a uh, 13 bucks at Play and Trade, and 13 bucks at everyone else, but seeing that play and trade I trust because it's like a small company so they don't charge tax which is cool I got it for cheaper and they also have their own card so I had one of those and got it for cheaper I got it for like 11 uh, after tax I got I think I got it for like a shit I got it for like t I think a little under uh, a little over 12 bucks anyway it's a good game uh, the conquest kinda sucks this time even though I did like on the PS2 version, the reason why is because the camera is all over the place. It sucks ass. Anyway, for the the camera, not the game. Anyway, let me get on to N64 games. I got Bio Freaks. Yeah, I saw it says Midway, and it's a fighting game. So guess what? Hey, you you would think it's a rip off of a uh, uh, Mortal Kombat, because Midway is a fighting game. It's rated M. But not really. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, you get there's like jetpacks in the game. You could do your own like you get at during the game. You could like actually like cut off people's arms and shit. It's pretty cool actually. I might do a Gore, might, maybe Gore's Classics episode. I mean, season two, which won't start for another two weeks maybe. I had yeah, maybe two weeks, maybe a week. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Fuck. Mission Impossible. Yeah, I I saw this. The thing that attracted me is I saw an AVGN episode about Virtual Boy, and I heard they made a really bad game called uh, Waterworld, based on the movie, and guess what? Ocean, that's the same people that made that. And this game is actually okay. It's not great, but it's pretty fun. I mean, it's kind of hard, but whatever. It's okay. Check it out if you have N64. It's only like two, three bucks at that play, gay, play, gay place. God damn it. That place called Trade and Play or whatever. Here's the next one, I already showed you obviously, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. You might have heard me talk about it a little bit, but here it is, it's pretty okay, really actually. It's probably the second best Star Wars game I played on the N64, right behind the racer game. Which I'm still trying to get, but I can't find. Uh, but anyway, this is pretty good, But and well, that's it. Those are my new games right there. This is my closet of goodies, <laughs> or games. I'm going to try to get more. Uh, and well, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, nothing really else new. I can't think of any. Uh, hmm. That's it. Alright. Anyway, see you later. I'll talk to you guys later. Probably talk to you on Xbox. Later. Oh, actually, I'm not done. Uh, right now, I just want to give a little shout out to my friend, the players, when I try ass. I, I, I just think about it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I want to make a video, but I want to make a video just about it, but I might as well just do it in this and he, if he really doesn't get any subscribers, then whatever. There's a link to his uh, channel 
Uh, shit, I don't know what side it will be. It'll probably be on this side. Right, right here. Anyway, go subscribe to him if you're even still watching this video. I hope you are. Anyway, thank you. Those are the games. Go subscribe to him. The players with an extra S at the end. He's a really good reviewer and whatnot. Whatnot. <laughs> I don't even get that. Anyway, thank you and bye.